Hi and welcome to GTO Poker Charts, also known as Game Theory Optimal Poker Charts. Uh, just making this video to inform you of a few modifications we've made to our site. Um, first up, we have added some Nash Heads Up Charts. So let's go ahead and have a look at those. Uh, this is what they look like. I just want to show you some other Nash charts firstly. Um, you've probably seen these charts. This is your standard Nash charts. And I don't know about you, but I find these very but very hard to read on the fly. If you actually um, wanted to use them quickly, it's uh, very hard to sort of see what you should do. So lo and behold, I've built these Nash heads up charts. And it's as simple as if, depending on the amount of blinds you are deep, or the effective stack size, uh, what's the effective stack size, you may ask? Well, luckily, on the side here, you have an explanation. Um, so it says that the effective stack size is the size of the smallest stack when two players are in a pot. So here I put in some examples. Um, you're in the small blind, you have nine big blinds, and you have ten three suited. And the villain is in the big blind, and he has... Uh, six big blinds, and we don't know what he's got, obviously. So the effective stacks in this instance are six big blinds. Then it's just a matter of clicking on six big blinds. And you have 10-3 suited. Look it up, and yes, sir, we can shove this hand. Simple as that. Let's have a look at another example down here. Um... Again, similar situation. You have nine big blinds. Villain has six big blinds. You're in the small blind again, meaning on the button in a heads-up game. Uh, again, the effective stacks are six big blind because it's the smallest amount of big blinds. And we look up. This time you have nine, three suited. So let's have a look. And no, do not shove this hand. The other situation you find yourselves in, in, in a uh, heads-up match when it's very short stacked, is you are in the big blind and the villain's in the small blind and he shoves all in. Uh, what you sh should you do? Well, let's again look at an example. Um, villain's in the small blind, he has nine big blinds. You have eight in the big blind, therefore effective stacks are eight. He shoves all in. You don't know what he's got, obviously, and you have eight ace two suited. So effective stacks eight. Let's click on that. Ace two suited. Up here. Yep. Got the green light to call that shove every time. Now if you have queen two suited, you will not call that shove. So we have uh, from 20 big blinds, all the way down to one big blind. Uh, one big blind's pretty funny. You pretty much obviously just call any two. Uh, two big blinds, you should call any shoves. Strangely enough, there's a few hands that are recommended not to shove. But uh, you get the general idea. It's very, very um, easy to just click on the effective stack size and see what you should do in any situation. Okay, now keep in mind these charts are for paid subscribers. Okay, so if you are, let's have a look at our um, current subscriber uh, pricing. So let's, I'll get back to this free one here in a moment. Uh, monthly, you can pay $9.95 a month and you get access to uh, both the Nash heads up charts and the 6 Max GTO charts. There's another video on YouTube if you want to check out the 6 Max charts. Um, but also, the exciting thing is we now have a free membership and you get a cut down version of the 
the 6 max charts and you also get a cut down version of the Nash charts. Uh, just 10 big blinds. Let's have a quick look at those. So this is the free option. Similar to the ones I showed you just previously. Uh, I've still got the instructions here and everything. A story about what Nash Equilibrium is. Uh, but it's only 10 big blinds. And our free 6 max GTO charts. It's got a lot of situations that you find yourself in a 6 max game. However, I've only got them for the button, the small blind, and the big blind. Uh, if you haven't seen these before, it's pretty um, straightforward and quick to do. Uh, you click up here what position you're in. You're on the button, for example, and under the gun is opened. What is the game theory optimal play that you should be using? Now, keep in mind, this is for, in theory, playing against everyone else if they were playing GTO poker. Obviously, nobody does, um, but I don't think you can go real wrong if you start off using this as a solid strategy. Now, for an example of this, um, if the guy who opened under the gun was opening 100%, let's go and look at our uh, subscriber charts here to work this one out. So the recommended raise first in GTO wise, uh, now this can vary, but it's what I've sort of decided are some reasonable assumptions using Pio Solver and Monka Solver. Um, I won't go into these too much, but what I wanted to get across here was the fact that let's say our villain under the gun in a six max game is pretty much going very close to to what this chart says. Then when we get to here, let's say we're on the button and under the gun has opened, uh, the assumptions here are that he, he's using that range. Now, if he was using a range such as opening 100% under the, under the gun, then obviously this is completely different set of um, assumptions that would go into this, it would change dramatically. If a the villain's opening 100% under the gun, um, I don't think you have to think too long and hard as to what sort of a strategy you should employ against him. Also got some recommended raise sizes thrown in now on the site, on uh, the 6 max cash charts. They're also available in the free version. Again, only recommended. Um, I like a 2.5 big blind. Some people like to vary it. Uh, depending on what position they're in. And here are some um, recommended raise sizes for three betting, squeezing, blind versus blind, when you raise first in and you're facing a three bet, and uh, versus a uh, gold three bet. Um, okay, so... That's all I want to talk about today. I just want to also just, yeah, just, just go over what I've sort of said. Um, you know, these, these subscriber charts, um, you get uh, for whatever subscription you take up monthly, six monthly, yearly, you're going to get access to, to these wonderful charts, the 6Max GTO charts and the Nash Ends Up charts. Um, if you want to just check them out, just it's free. Just become a subscriber click on the free version and um, you get access to the free heads up Nash charts and the 6max GTA charts. Okay, let's have a and quickly look at the uh, subscription options. Just come on the front page and if you want to have a look at the charts, have a play with them, just choose the free plan and depending on your budget, uh, you can, you know, for as little as $9.95, get access to these super awesome GTO charts. Okay, that's it. So um, hope you enjoyed this video and um, talk to you soon.